Okay, in this part, um, I'm going to show you how to punch out the, uh, the holes, the cutouts on the wheel. Now, you may remember the uh, pattern on a circle uh, from Activity 5.5. We're going to use that. First thing we need to do is uh, create that sort of curved trapezoidal shape. And the way I'm going to do that is um, create a sketch on the plane that I want to punch the hole out. And I'm going to start with two arcs because I know the uh, inside and outside edges are arcs. I'm going to use center point arc. The center point is at the center of the axle. Whoops, missed that. Try again. The center point is at the center of the axle, the center of the wheel. Point six, two, five, I think, right? Is that it? Dimensions are um, outside circle 0.625, inside circle 0.375 from the lower isometric view. And I want it to start up there, and you'll notice it's at 30 degrees, typical, right? I'm going to create a second arc, 0.375. From there, also 30 degrees. And then I'm just going to use the line command to, uh, to connect those. And you'll notice I wait for the little green dot, which means it's snapping on to the end of that point. And then I can extrude that shape subtractively. Now, yes, you'll notice there's only one of them so far, but that's okay. We're not done yet. Um, again, select all for the extents. And now we can do our um, cir circular pattern. So first thing, you have to select the feature. You only want to select the whole feature there. Then you do, do not select a whole bunch of other things. If you select the wheel, it'll make like six copies of the wheel on top of itself. You won't notice it, but I will because it'll show up in your browser. So the rotational axis we want is the um, center of the wheel. I think we might even be able to select that circle. And there you go. It's going to ask you how many of those you want. Um, we can make four, five, six, whatever, just to mix it up. Maybe I'll make a five hole wheel this time. And there are the holes. Okay, so that's it for this part. And we still need to do the linkage peg. That'll be the last part um, in the, the next video.